Hey there, sexy people. This is Shara. I know, it's pronounced Shara, not Shara, as a lot of people say, but that's okay. It's been uh, pronounced Shara a lot in my life, and I pretty much just answered a shh, so. But I prefer Shara, and that's the name that my parents gave me was Shara. Anyway, I live here in San Diego, California. I live in downtown San Diego, so I have a gorgeous view from my 11th floor corner apartment. Um, and I have lots of natural light that just pours in. So I love it, it's great for coloring. I live here with my 21 year old son, he's my baby, and he's attending college and uh, he really helps me out a lot with a lot of the things I can't do. Um, and then I have a daughter, Sabrina. She's 23. She is married and has two children and one on the way. Um, Andrew is seven and a half. And then Liam will be one in July. And then baby girl is due in August. Quite a surprise, but we're all very happy. She and her husband have been together since they were 14 years old. They had Andrew while they were still in high school, um, but it all worked out great. Sabrina is just one of those go-getters. She uh, graduated high school with honors and with a two and a half year old on her hip and uh, got accepted to university right out of high school. Um, she and her husband and kids, they live in New Zealand. They moved there just about a year ago and um, her husband is a uh, born in New Zealand and it just worked out for them to move there and uh, they're doing fantastic. I've been there three times this past year and New Zealand is just a wonderful place to uh, raise a family. It's such a beautiful country, beautiful people. Um, I couldn't ask for anything better for my kids. And then, um, my oldest son is 28 and he has lived in Australia for the past seven years. Um, I don't know why my kids have chosen to live on the other side of the world, but they have. And uh, I love visiting, so it works out great. I feel very fortunate that I'm able to go visit every few months and um, shorten that distance between us. Um, FaceTime also helps with that. I can call my grandkids anytime and feel like I'm right there in the living room with them. And uh, I love that. They actually were just here as well for a visit. So it works out okay. It gets hard sometimes, but it's nice that my 21 year old is here and I'm not letting him go anywhere for a while. Um, we have three dogs. Uh, three rescue dogs. One is 12 years old and her name is Pixie. She's a um, small terrier mix. I got her when she was about three months old and she just turned 12 years old on the 2nd of June. And then there's our big boy Max. Now he was abandoned at birth so we're not quite sure what he is but he looks to be husky, golden retriever and possibly lab. Um, he's huge and he uh, he was abandoned at birth but we got him when he was 11 days old and he's just turned 11 in April and he's amazing and then finally we have our teeny tiny chihuahua Bailey and she is almost 10 and she was I found her running loose at the school I worked at in the rain and she was teeny tiny she was probably only about four weeks old and um, brought her home and she rounded out the threesome and it's been great ever since so they're 10 11 and 12 and we used to live in a house with a big yard and they had plenty of space to run and create havoc all over the backyard and now they're uh, three leisurely dogs in the city, and uh, they love being able to just go on walks and be lazy the rest of the day. So it, it works out good. 
let's see about myself. I, about two months after we found out my daughter Sabrina was pregnant, almost eight years ago, I suffered a massive stroke and um, it really took us for a loop. It was horrible. Um, my life just halted. Um, you know, I worked full time. I was a teacher. I worked as a health assistant at a middle school. I had been in an, at an elementary school for nine years prior to that. Um, I taught high school. I was in school full time myself. Just always going, 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 and three kids, and um, it was crazy. And uh, it really, um, really took a toll on me and um, I suffered a lot of mental issues after the stroke and all the physical um, limitations that that entailed you know I lost the, the right side of my body um, I have um, weakness on the whole right side but I don't have a whole lot of use of my right hand um, I did have to learn how to um, color and write and do everything with my um, left hand. So that's pretty good. I think I color better now than I did with my right hand. <laughs> there are some things I can't do. I don't think I write very well. I still do it, but I don't think I do uh, very well with that. And then um, I can't cut with scissors. I can't cut with a knife. I can't flip eggs. I can't actually use a spatula at all. That I don't know. It's weird can't draw the, the number eight. I have to do two circles. I, can't, I just can't get, it's very weird how your brain does. Um, strokes are amazing. It, you know, it's not just um, the paralysis or the um, weakness that it causes. Um, it can do a lot of things. You know, our bodies are pretty miraculous and you mess with the brain and a lot of things can happen. <clears throat> so I've recovered very nicely. Um, I, uh, this past year has actually been really good for me. I discovered coloring, um, my daughter and my grandson, and then my newest grandson um, are really in a in a great place, doing well, and I and I don't find myself, you know, overcome with worry uh, for them, which had been kind of consuming for the previous years, and I think that's because the situation she was in when I had the stroke just sort of compounded the situation and I just hyper focused on her and her success and and you know making sure that she had everything that opportunities that she may have um, you know may not have been available because she'd had a baby so young so it was an unnatural or an unhealthy obsession a bit uh, for my sake, and it put a lot of pressure on her, but we made it. We made it through, and she's doing fabulous. We talked on the phone almost every day. We're very, very close. Um, I spend lots of time out there. She just was here for three weeks with both kids, um, so we made it. And uh, I'll tell you what, um, my stress has dropped exponentially since um, since they moved and since I have discovered the coloring community. Um, and it happened around the same time, which was quite uh, crazy. Um, in fact, my um, stress has reduced so much. They actually had to change my blood pressure medication because I was dropping too low and actually passing out. Um, and I just think that's crazy. Um, Let's see. So I do still have physical limitations. I'm unable to work. Um, but for the most part, things are stable. Um, I had to have um, uh, massive foot surgery uh, reconstruction um, because I had to have pins and stuff put in because of the lack of um, ability to move my foot. Uh, it was turning in. I was having a lot of falls and uh, pain. I still have quite a bit of pain throughout my body. And I think my um, stroke, I think the stroke changed things in my brain. And I have what they call a stroke-induced fibromyalgia. Um, I don't know. I uh, All I know is that um, I'm happy to be here. I'm, uh, I feel very fortunate. 
um, where I where I was, where I could have been, and where I am now. And um, you know, uh, I have great doctors that are um, helping me, um, and there's lots of um, alternative uh, medicines too to um, help uh, with the pain. Coloring is one, and there's uh, yoga, stretching, um, acupuncture. Um, and I try it all. I try to do what I can and uh, try to stay in a positive mood. That's one thing. Um, I'm a pretty positive person. I, uh, I've had my moments. And especially since the stroke, I um, did fall into a deep depression and, and a lot of anxiety. And, you know, your life changes so drastically. Um, it really threw me for a loop. And I, and I struggled. And um, it's taken a while to crawl back out and be where I am today. And... Um, you know, I have the love and support of a great family, um, uh, and I couldn't ask for more. And um, even um, my uh, kid's dad, he really stepped up and, um, you know, moved back in to, uh, to help after my stroke. And, uh, you know, we still remain close. We don't live together, but we uh, remain close, and uh, I still care about him deeply, and, and I know the feeling is mutual, so... Let's see. So what I want from this channel is I, um, I'm i up at odd times during the day and, uh, you know, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. And I thought, well, you know, if I uh, am up and coloring and somebody else might be up and coloring and wanting to chat. I, um, I don't have insomnia or anything. I just, uh, I prefer that time of day and I find myself... Um, just relaxed and comforted and I would love to you know chat I find videos to watch but I think it'd be fun to, to, to get on and chat um, I don't think I'm a great colorist I think I'm okay I'm proud of the work I do and I and I'm definitely not knocking myself but I'm you know far from a Sammy or a Belinda or Becky or you know Christine all of these amazing colorists that um, and I probably missed mentioning some and I and I don't want to offend anybody I feel like um like um when when I do go live um it'll be like romper room who remembers romper room with the with the um romper stomper bop romper stomper bopper boo tell me tell me tell me who magic mirror tell me today did my friends have fun at play and then I can say oh Oh, I see Pickle and Maya and Becky and the other Becky and Tess and Robin and Sue and Pat and Anne and Loretta. And I see Gary and Sean and Dev and Shannon. Mm, I see Melody and Katie and Caroline and Morticia. I see Nick and Tina and Sabrina and Nicola, Belinda, Sammy, May, Charlotte, Christine, Kim, Beth. Oh my gosh, I know there's more. Oh, I'm probably going to forget somebody, but that's so funny because it just reminds me of Romper Room and saying all of the names of the kids and Shara was so uncommon that they never called my name, but I still listen for it every day. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know how I got off on that, but um, I just think that, uh, you know, I just like to get on it at odd times when other streamers aren't on maybe you live in another country or, and there's not a lot of streamers from that country. So the time there's nobody on at that time. Um, I, uh, you know, I don't really have a whole lot of, um, plans. I, I want to kind of just see how it goes. And, uh, I know we have some wonderful streamers that, um, are so helpful and, um, kind and, uh, generous with their time to, uh, help, uh, whatever might need to be done. So I'm not sure when I'm going to go live. I'm going to work with a couple of people and see if they can help me figure that out. But I thought I'd put a video out there and uh, and just kind of let people know. 
Um, I am on Instagram, and uh, you can follow me. It's um, the same as my channel. It's uh, Shara Likes to Color and Chat um, at Instagram. I don't do Facebook right now, or, um, well, I have a personal Facebook, but I don't um, do Twitter or anything like that. I don't even know how to tweet. And um, let's see, what else was I gonna tell people? Um, I kind of want to call myself the average Joanne colorist. Um, my middle name is Joanne, so it's suiting. But uh, I just feel like I'm more of an average colorist. I, um, you know, I'm, I'm testing the waters on backgrounds and, you know, I'm just learning how to um, shadow and uh, use light source and, you know, all of that. But, you know, these girls and guys that we watch are amazing and we learn so much from them and, I, and I'm trying hard to uh, be happy with where I'm at and, and like what I'm doing now. And I'm very proud of the work I do, but striving to be better and learn from the masters and um, try new mediums. I've never had a hobby before. I, I always was too busy. I just didn't have a hobby. Um, and this is so amazing. I love everything about coloring. I love the community, the people, um, the most amazing people. Um, I love shopping. <laughs> I love shopping for coloring supplies. I'm responsible. I don't, uh, I'm not in debt or spend money I don't have. I, uh, um, you know, not eating cat food because I have to buy coloring books. Um, but I do like to shop, and I've always liked online shopping. I've been an online shopper probably since 1999, um, 20 years, which was pretty crazy when I think about it. Um, I know my eBay account was set up in 2000. Um, I like organizing my coloring supplies. I like trying new mediums, even though I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I, it's just fun. I, I enjoy all of it, everything about it. I don't, um, I don't do anything else. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't peruse. I don't uh, um, uh, collect anything. You know, it's coloring, and I, uh, I feel very fortunate that I'm in a in a position that I can, you know, treat myself and. Um, and still live comfortably and uh, still go visit my kids once in a while. And uh, I never thought, I never thought about that, but it, it's a definite fortunate place to be and, and I don't forget that. And um, which is why I, um, I like to give back and I like to um, help out sometimes. And um, it's just who I am. And um, I really, I'm happy to uh, see where this goes and um, see how this um, journey turns out and uh, where it takes me. I uh, love meeting people and I think this will be fun. So, and I just love all you sexy people. It is um, a pleasure to uh, get on and chat with you always. Um, well, I think that's about it for now. I've told you about pretty much everything. And um, I will uh, see you in a chat soon, I'm sure. And maybe you will be seeing me again live real soon. So thank you for watching my video. And please offer some feedback on what you think of me starting a channel and, you know, what you think um maybe it should be about i um like i said i'm not going in with a lot of expectations i'm um kind of just winging it and seeing uh how it goes um i know that i sometimes just to listen to a chat have somebody talking maybe interact if it's a live chat 
and not always have to focus on what they're coloring because I want to color and I and I can't color and look at what they're doing if they're giving a tutorial or instructions and follow chat. So, I mean, I have a hard enough time walking and chewing gum. I don't think I could do all three of those. So maybe if, um, if somebody else is in that same position, you know, it might work. And... Um, We'll see how it goes. So please leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think. And uh, stay sexy, everyone. Bye.